Hey everyone, Victor here from Mapster. Just going to go over a feature in Mapster WordPress Maps that I think is complicated enough to warrant a little short video. And that is adding locations in your installation. So um, starting just after installation here, we want to make sure we go to Maps. And in the Maps section, we're going to see a list of different location types. We're going to add location. Now this is a single point. Um, so you can see I have a couple random test stuff just because this is my test site. But locations are a point as opposed to a line or a polygon. So um, when we go to add locations, uh, what we're going to go over is we're going to go over labels and icons because these are kind of a special type. Uh, we have pretty plain normal stuff. We can just add, uh, we're going to add Vancouver, click search and go add Vancouver. And you can see it creates a marker by default. Um, fairly straightforward options for that you can check out. Circle also has some fairly straightforward options, nothing too out of the ordinary. However, label and icon, which is one you might want to use, since this is the one that allows you to have a custom uh, image, custom icon, is a bit more complicated. Uh, when I turn it on, you can see nothing uh, appears, and this is because we haven't set either a label or an icon yet. So we'll start with an icon. Um, so when I turn it on, still nothing happens, and this is because I hasn't, haven't chosen an image. So I just need to upload an image to WordPress in order to get it to work or choose one I already have. I have one here already. Uh, it's a PNG. I would recommend you use a PNG uh, with a transparent background. Generally works best. Um, and SVGs unfortunately don't work with Mapbox yet. So you're gonna have to convert it to a PNG. Once you have it selected, you'll just press select, boom. And you can see it appears on your map. Now, one thing to note is the anchor by default is right in the middle. So that's the point that the marker ties itself to on the map. And that's down here at the bottom. So we're going to want to set the anchor probably to bottom if you're using a marker like this with a point at the bottom. So you can see it kind of sticks on the same point. And that's not perfect because um, my image is maybe a little bit large. So you're just going to want to chop your image so it's all trimmed really nicely. Now, um, one thing I want to do here too is because my marker is kind of large, I'm going to scale it down, make it a little smaller, and I'm going to just move it a bit to be up here instead. There, that's nice. So it looks pretty good. It's on the right spot. Looking, looking nice. Um, you can change the opacity, rotation, and we're going to go over position X and Y in just a moment. So we'll turn the icon off for now. You can see it disappears. We're going to turn the label on. So label is basically text and you can see it appears on the map right away. So I can add custom text here, here, um, and it'll appear. That's great. And just, you know, options are fairly straightforward. We got some different fonts here that you can choose from um, and font size, color, blah, 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 opacity, rotation. Um, the outline is kind of good to note. If there is a maximum for the outline, so for instance, if we set this to 20, you'll see it gets very blocky around um, the text here. We'll try to zoom in. Um, it's kind of hard to zoom in in this circumstance. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, so yeah, zooming in a little bit hard, but you can kind of make out it's a little blocky around there. Um, you're generally going to want to set this, I believe, to some relation to your font size, something like that. So two, 1 or 2 or 1.5 or something like that is about where you want to be. And generally, you're going to keep your blur at about 50%. 100% will mean that it's very um, transparent, that outline. And 0 will mean, again, it's very blocky. So generally, you're not going to change these um, as long as it brings out your text in a way that is fairly clear to you. Um, so that's the label, and we now can look at doing these together. So if we turn the label and icon on, they can both be on the map at once. You can see they kind of overlap. Um, and if I was to actually change this back to the default of center, uh, you could see they're right on top of each other. So we don't really want that. So we're going to change this back to the bottom so it's anchored nicely there. And then we're going to use our position X and position Y. So first I'm going to bring the text down a little and I, we do this by making some small adjustment like that, 0.5, brought it down a little bit. It's kind of nice. Now this is generally done, this is actually slightly different measurement than this. If we were to go 0.5 here, 
it's uh, barely going to move it. Uh, it basically doesn't move it very much at all. And uh, this may be changed in the future, but I believe that this position is more related to the percentage size of the font. It's something like that. You can experiment a bit with the numbers, but essentially with these, Y and X are a little different than you'd expect. Now, up you might think is positive, but actually down is positive. So here we're going to make this negative five pixels and see how that looks. You can see that it moved up a little bit. If we go maybe negative eight, there it's kind of got a bit more space and maybe we'll make this one down, although that probably will be too far. Oh no, it's, it's all right. We move this back to negative five. And there we go. We kind of have them kind of nicely spaced. And you'll see they stick together. If we rotate the map, they stay kind of nicely, nicely spaced together. So that's how you're going to create your labels and icons. And then you'll just be publishing this 